Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back, Plant Abundance here. Today I want to share with you a new technique that I'm trying out on one of my hugel cultures. So over here on the edge of this mound, you can see I've got a bunch of the purple tree collards growing atop. Now, they're not doing exceptionally well at this time as they're more of a cool weather crop, but they do survive the heat of the summer. And you can see by the looks of this mound just how dry everything is almost embarrassingly dry. Yet, the purple tree collards survive. These have been here for at least a couple years now. So these tree collards, even when they're not staked up, can get several feet high. And that was the case in this area. So what I did is I physically bent over and pressed down each one of these trees growing. And then I weighted it down with a paver. Now this is gonna accomplish a couple different things for me. The first thing it's doing is it's creating a lot of side growth off the main trunk of each one of these trees. And that's where all these new little shoots are now popping up from. Another thing this is going to accomplish, and I just found this out recently after experimenting growing these in my chicken coop area, is at several of these points of contact where the main stalk is in contact with the soil, it's going to develop even more roots that are gonna penetrate into this mound, providing the plant with more nutrition, creating a more abundant, resilient plant. If you happen to miss that video where I showed the plant rooting itself, I will put a link below this video so you can check it out. And lastly, and probably most importantly, what this is going to accomplish is this going to create more structure for the mound, for soil to basically adhere to. As you can see, these main stalks are just perfect for adding fresh soil and wood chips and mulch to the top of this mound. And it's going to help to cradle all that organic matter onto the mound, helping it to not just flush off the sides. Each year these mounds will break down and they will sink down a bit, maybe a foot or two. So I like to continually add matter to the top. That way I keep it a raised bed. Now you could just let it continually break down and just have a really rich and abundant place to plant your crops. But like I said, I like to keep this built up because it's functional this way. It makes it easy to harvest, easy to plant out being in a raised bed fashion. So that's why I do it that way. So I'm just getting ready now to fill in the gaps here with a mulch covering and I'm going to give it a good watering after I do that. So I've got all this wood chip here and this is a good mixture of wood chips, leaves, pine needles. So there's a lot of material in here that's going to break down and sift down really quick and actually add to the soil profile rather than just create a mulch layer. There we go, that's looking better now. And you can see I just basically uh, threw the wood chips right over a lot of the plant matter here, and they're gonna do just fine. I will eventually pull these pavers out, but for now I'm gonna leave them there, help keep everything weighted down. 